Ladies and gentlemen, now I want to say create the life of your dreams. I'm not talking about some pie in the sky fantasy. I'm talking about designing and building a life that truly reflects who you are, what you value, and what you want to achieve. A life that excites you, challenges you, and fills you with a sense of purpose and joy. But here's the thing. This kind of life doesn't just happen by accident. It's not something that's handed to you on a silver platter. No, the life of your dreams is something you have to create deliberately and intentionally. So how do we do that? How do we go from where we are now to where we want to be? Well, that's what we're here to discuss today. First, let's talk about the power of dreams. You see, everything begins with a dream. Every great achievement, every successful business, every happy relationship, they all started as a dream in someone's mind. Dreams are the seeds of reality. They're the blueprints of your future, but here's the catch. A dream without action is just a wish. And wishes don't change your life. Actions do. So I want you to start by allowing yourself to dream big. Don't limit yourself. Don't let your current circumstances dictate what's possible for you. Remember, where you are is not who you are. Your current situation is not your final destination. Take a moment right now and think about what your ideal life would look like if you had no limitations, no constraints. What would you do? Who would you be? What kind of impact would you make on the world? Now I can see some of you getting excited. Your eyes are lighting up. You're starting to see possibilities you hadn't considered before. But I can also see some doubt creeping in. Maybe you're thinking, Jim, that sounds great, but it's not realistic. I can't have that kind of life. And to that, I say, why not? Why can't you have that life? Who says you can't? You see, the only limits that truly exist are the ones you accept. The only person who can decide what's possible for you is you. So now I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Creating the life of your dreams takes work. It takes commitment. It takes perseverance. But I'm here to tell you that it's possible. And not only is it possible, but you deserve it. You deserve to live a life that excites you, that fulfills you, that allows you to become the best version of yourself. So let's talk about how to turn those dreams into reality. The first step is to get clear on what you want. You see, you can't hit a target you can't see. You can't create a life you haven't defined. So this is where goal setting comes in. Now I know some of you might be thinking, oh, not goal setting again, but hear me out. Goal setting is not just about writing down a list of things you want to achieve. It's about creating a roadmap for your life. Your goals are like the GPS coordinates for your dream life. They tell you where you're going and help you stay on track when you face detours or obstacles. But here's the key. Your goals need to be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. We call these SMART goals. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, say, I want to start my own business and reach $100,000 in revenue by December 31st next year. You see the difference. The second goal gives you something concrete to work towards. It gives you a clear target and a deadline. It allows you to measure your progress and adjust your actions accordingly. Now, once you have your goals set, the next step is to create a plan. And this is where a lot of people get stuck. They have a dream, they set their goals, but they don't know how to get from where they are to where they want to be. This is where you need to break your big goals down into smaller, manageable steps. Think about it like this. If you want to climb a mountain, you don't just leap from the bottom to the top in one giant bound. You take it one step at a time. So look at your goals and ask yourself, what's the first step I need to take to move towards this goal? Then what's the next step after that? Keep breaking it down until you have a series of small, actionable steps that you can start taking right away. And here's the beauty of this approach, in small step. You take builds momentum. Each small victory gives you confidence. Each small action moves you closer to your dream life. But here's the thing. Having a plan is not enough. You need to take action. Consistent, persistent action. Because dreams don't work unless you do. Now I know what some of you are thinking. But Jim, I'm already busy. I have a job, a family, responsibilities. I don't have time to work on my dreams. And to that I say, you don't find time, you make time. You see, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. The difference between those who achieve their dreams and those who don't is how they choose to use those hours. So I want you to look at your daily routine. Where can you carve out some time to work on your goals? Can you wake up an hour earlier? Can you use your lunch break more effectively? Can you cut down on time-wasting activities like excessive TV watching or social media scrolling? 
minutes. Remember, you don't need huge chunks of time. Even 15 minutes a day, if used consistently and intentionally, can lead to significant progress over time. And speaking of time, let's talk about the power of consistency. You were, you see, creating the life of your dreams is not about making one big change. It's about making small, positive changes consistently over time. Think about it like this. If you want to get in shape, one intense workout isn't going to cut it. But Art, if you exercise for just 30 minutes every day over time, you'll see dramatic results. The same principle applies to every area of your life. Consistency is the key to mastery. It's the key to progress. It's the key to turning your dreams into reality. So I want you to commit to taking action towards your goals every single day. Even if it's just a small action, even if you don't feel like it, especially when you don't feel like it, because that's what separates dreamers from achievers. The willingness to do the work day in and day out, regardless of how they feel. Now let's talk about something that's crucial in creating the life of your dreams. Your mindset. You see, your mind is like a garden. Whatever you plant in it will grow, so you need to be very careful about what you're planting. Are you planting seeds of doubt, fear, and negativity? Or are you planting seeds of hope, confidence, and possibility? Your thoughts shape your beliefs. Your beliefs shape your actions, and your actions shape your life. So if you want to create the life of your dreams, you need to start by cultivating a positive, growth-oriented mindset. This doesn't mean ignoring reality or pretending that everything is perfect. It means choosing to focus on possibilities rather than problems. It means seeing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable obstacles. So how do you develop this kind of mindset? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, pause and ask yourself, is this thought helping me or holding me back? Is there a more empowering way I could look at this situation? Then practice reframing. Instead of saying, I can't do this, say, how can I do this? Instead of saying, this is too hard, say, this is challenging, but I'm growing and learning. And remember, your mind believes what you tell it. So you're to, so be careful with your self-talk. Speak to yourself with kindness and encouragement. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Remind yourself of your strengths and past successes. Now let's talk about another crucial aspect of creating the life of your dreams, the continuous learning and growth. You see, to create a different life, you need to become a different person. You need to grow into the person who is capable of living that dream life. So make a commitment to lifelong learning. Read books that expand your mind and challenge your thinking. Attend seminars and workshops. Seek out mentors who can guide you and share their wisdom. And don't just learn, tie with what you learn. Knowledge is not power, applied knowledge is power. So for every book you read, every seminar you attend, ask yourself, how can I use this in my life? What's one action I can take based on what I've learned? Now let's talk about something that many people overlook. When pursuing their dreams, that the power of relationships you see, no one achieves great things alone. We all need support, encouragement, and sometimes a gentle push to keep going when things get tough. So surround yourself with positive, supportive people who believe in you and your dreams. And they have like-minded individuals who are also working towards their goals. Join mastermind groups or create your own. And remember, you become like the people you spend the most time with. So choose your associations carefully. If you want to create an extraordinary life, Spend time with extraordinary people. Now let's address something that often holds people back from pursuing their dreams. Fear, fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of what others might think. These fears can paralyze us, keep us stuck in our comfort zones, prevent us from taking the actions necessary to create the life we want. But here's the truth. Fear is a natural part of growth. If you're not feeling fear, you're not pushing yourself hard enough. You're not stretching beyond your current limits. The key is to feel the fear and do it anyway. To understand that courage is not the absence of fear, but action in the face of fear. So I want you to start seeing fear not as a stop sign, but as a signpost. A signpost that says, this way to growth, this way to your dreams. And remember, on the other side of fear is everything you've ever wanted. Your dream life is waiting for you just outside your comfort zone. Now let's talk about the importance of taking responsibility for your life. You see, to create the life of your dreams, you need to understand that you are the author of your own story. You are the creator of your own reality. This means no more blaming others for your circumstances. No more making excuses. No more waiting for someone else to come and rescue you or make your dreams come true. 
means taking full responsibility for where you are now and where you want to go. It means understanding that while you can't control everything that happens to you, you can always control your response. This level of responsibility can feel scary at first, but that's also incredibly empowering because when you take responsibility, you take back your power. You're no longer a victim of circumstances. You're the architect of your own destiny. So start looking at your life through this lens of responsibility. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Ask, what can I learn from this? How can I use this to move closer to my dreams? So now let's talk about the power of persistence. You see, creating the life of your dreams is not always going to be easy. You're going to face obstacles. You're going to encounter setbacks. There will be times when you feel like giving up. But here's what separates those who achieve their dream from those who don't. Persistence, willingness to keep going even when things get tough. De determination to get back up every time you fall. Remember, every setback is a setup for a comeback. Every obstacle is an opportunity for growth. Every failure is a lesson that brings you one step closer to success. So when you face challenges, and you will, don't see them as reasons to quit. See them as reasons to push harder to dig deeper, to become stronger. And speaking of strength, let's talk about the importance of self-care and creating the life of your dreams. You see, you are the most important asset in your journey towards your dream life. You need to take care of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. This means eating well, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep. It means taking time for relaxation and rejuvenation. It means nurturing your mind with positive inputs and protecting your energy from negative influences. Because here's the truth. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't create an amazing life if you're burned out, stressed out, and run down. So it makes self-care a priority. It's not selfishness necessary. It's what allows you to show up fully in your life and give your best to your dreams. Now let's talk about the power of gratitude in creating the life of your dreams. See, it's, it's easy to get so focused on where you want to go that you forget to appreciate where you are. But gratitude is a powerful force in manifesting your dreams. When you're grateful for what you have, you open yourself up to receive more. When you appreciate the good in your life, you attract more good. When you focus on abundance rather than lack, you create more abundance in your life. So start each day by listing three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. It could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a beautiful sunrise, or a kind word from a friend. And as you work towards your dreams, don't forget to be grateful for the journey itself, thankful for the challenges that make you stronger, the lessons that make you wiser, the experiences that shape you into the person you need to be to live your dream life. Now let's talk about the importance of flexibility in creating the life of your dreams. You see, while it's important to have a clear vision and a solid plan, it's equally important to be adaptable. Life doesn't always go according to plan. Circumstances change, new opportunities arise. What seemed like the perfect path yesterday might not make sense today. So, well, you should absolutely stay committed to your dreams. Be willing to adjust your approach when necessary. Be open to new ideas and possibilities. Be willing to take a detour if it ultimately gets you closer to your destination. Remember, the goal is not to stick rigidly to a plan. The goal is to create the life of your dreams. And sometimes that might require you to pivot, to try a new approach, to go in a direction you hadn't initially considered. This flexibility, this willingness to adapt, is what allows you to turn obstacles into opportunities and setbacks into stepping stones. Now let's address something that often holds people back from pursuing their dreams. The fear of what others might think. You see, when you start working towards creating an extraordinary life, you might face criticism or skepticism from others. Some people might not understand your vision. Some might tell you it's impossible. Some might even try to discourage you. But here's what you need to remember. The other people's opinions of you are none of your business. Your dreams are yours, not theirs. You don't need anyone's permission or approval to create the life you want. So don't let the fear of judgment or criticism hold you back. Don't give your light to make others comfortable. Surround yourself with people who support your dreams and learn to tune out the naysayers. Remember, the only opinion about your life that truly matters is your own. Are you proud of the person you're becoming? Are you excited about the life you're creating? That's what counts. Now let's talk about the power of visualization and creating the life of your dreams. You see, your mind is an incredibly powerful tool. It doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's vividly imagined. So 
Take time each day to visualize your dream life in vivid detail. See yourself living in your ideal home, working at your dream job, enjoying fulfilling relationships. Feel the emotions you'd feel if you were already living that life. This isn't just daydreaming. Huh? You're a mental rehearsal. It's programming your subconscious mind to recognize and move towards opportunities that align with your vision. And when you combine this visualization with action, that's when the magic happens. That's when you start to see your dreams manifesting in reality. Now let's talk about the importance of celebrating your progress. As you work towards creating the life of your dreams, you see, it's easy to get so focused on the end goal that you forget to acknowledge how far you've come. It's about every step forward, no matter how small is progress. With every obstacle overcome, every lesson learned, every small victory, these are all worth celebrating. So take time to recognize and appreciate your progress. Celebrate the small wins along the way. This not only boosts your motivation, but also reinforces the belief that you are capable of achieving your dreams. Remember, creating the life of your dreams is a journey, not a destination. Learn to enjoy the process, not just the outcome. Now let's address something that's crucial in creating the life of your dreams, the power of your habits. You see, your life today is essentially the sum of your habits. How you spend your days is how you spend your life. So if you want to create a different life, you need to create different habits. Look at your daily routines. Are they moving you closer to your dreams or further away? Are they helping you become the person you need to be to live your dream life? Start by identifying one habit that's holding you back and replace it with a habit that supports your dreams. Maybe it's replacing an hour of TV with an hour of reading or learning a new skill. Maybe it's swapping your morning social media scroll with a morning meditation or exercise routine. So remember, small changes consistently applied over time. Lead to big results. Your habits shape your life, so choose them wisely. Now let's talk about the power of passion in creating the life of your dreams. You already see when you're pursuing something you're truly passionate about, work doesn't feel like work. Obstacles become challenges to overcome. Not roadblocks. Time flies by because you're so engrossed in what you're doing. This passion is what will fuel you through the tough times. What will keep you going when others might give up? So as you're designing your dream life, make sure it's aligned with your passions. Don't just chase success for the sake of success. Chase a life that excites you. That makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning. Remember, creating the life of your dreams is not a spectator sport. It requires active participation. It requires you to step out of your comfort zone to take risks, to be willing to fail and learn from those failures. It requires you to be the hero of your own story. So don't wait for the perfect moment it will never come. Start where you are with what you have. Take that first step, no matter how small it might seem. Because a year from now, you'll wish you had started today. As we wrap up, I want you to understand them. That creating the life of your dreams is not just about achieving goals or acquiring things. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. It's about growing, learning, and evolving. It's about creating a life that's rich in experiences. Relationships and meaning a life that allows you to make a positive impact on the world around you. Because at the end of the day, the greatest fulfillment comes not from what you get, but from what you give and who you become in the process. So, as you leave here today, I want you to make a commitment to yourself, a commitment to no longer settle for a life of mediocrity, a commitment to pursue your dreams with passion and persistence, a commitment to become the architect of your own destiny, because you have greatness within you. You have the power to create an extraordinary life, you have the ability to turn your dreams into reality. So ladies and gentlemen, the life of your dreams is not just a possibility. It's your responsibility. You owe it to yourself to create a life you love. You owe it to the world to share your unique gifts and talents. So go out there, dream big, work hard, stay focused. And never ever give up on your dreams. Your dream life is waiting for you. It's time to go out there and create it. Thank you 